Welcome back to Coffee and Crash, featuring Zelrog using his ASMR voice really close to the microphone, and a voice crack too. I'm joined today by absolutely no one, because Jack is away, so you get a very rare Zelrog solo stream. And... After quite a while, oh, I just I just stood up and I forgot to close the PS2, so the game's not going to start. I'm finally going to get to the Crash game that uh, I never owned until now. I own it now. This is on the PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 and Xbox, but not GameCube. If it was on GameCube, I would have considered emulating that, because it would probably look better than this is going to. But you know what? It's on component. It'll be fine. Two thousand four. Over sixteen over fifteen years ago now. I guess this is another offender, along with uh, Mario and Sonic. Of the most recent games in a series I've played being old as shit. Traveler's Tales, isn't that the... Aren't those the story mode guys? Aren't those the, like, uh... Like the... The Walking Dead games and such? Oh, start with Spongebob music. Holy shit, this is so Spongebob. Do I have to press something? Oh, I do. Okay. So this is meant to follow Wrath of Cortex, I guess? Why, why are they frozen? I'm already confused. We haven't even started the game yet. Uh? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's centered. That looks good. I can play the whole game like that. I was hoping there was a resize because there's a little, uh, there's like a little box you can see on the str on the stream. Don't call it surround. It's Dolby Pro Logic, uh, which I could, I could, I could do something about. It. I could zoom in if I really wanted to, but that's that's stream time. Who cares? Okay, you know what? Because that's gonna be the whole, the whole stream. I'm, I'm I am going to do that. Real quick. Can I not? There it goes. It's a very imprecise science. I, I remembered that this game was the one that started the Spiral Mouth music. I did not remember that the title track was just Spongebob. That, that escaped me. This is always the most exciting way to start a stream. That's okay though. It'll it'll look good. It'll look good on YouTube, guys. Oh my god, looks like a little bit better, right? They reference it. I I remember. I think you pointed out, Darian, that uh, they call out. The poor sales of Wrath of Cortex. Is that this game or is that Tag Team Racing? Which, I've rented this game. So I've played through it, not 100% of it. I have never touched Tag Team Racing. So that'll be totally blind. Look at those crusty letters. They don't look cut out right. That's right, he's, he's needs to watch in shitty mode. Sleep, my insipid angel. 
Crush! Crush! Where are you, big brother? There's something weird going on in the bay! Come see! Starting with uh, Maximum Looney Tunes. Okay, we got autosave enabled. You know, all things considered, those pants fit him really well. So I've played through all the Crash games up it to this I, point. Aku Aku. Oh. My duty is to protect you. You? By breaking open these crates, call me thrice, and I shall grant you special powers. Hey, stupid. You ever play a Crash game before? On one hand, I do like the Spiral Mouth soundtrack. On the other hand, it kind of solidifies that there cannot possibly be anything taken remotely seriously in this game. Also, this is a very expansive level design. Already. turn this down a little bit. This feels like a Jack and Daxter level. I have many places that I could go. It's very uncrash like Well, that happened at just the right time, Mr. Caterpillar. Oh, there's a gem over here. Okay, great. just around everywhere I barely I do not remember this game at all I rented it shortly after it came out so that was must have been 15 or 6 or 14 or 15 years ago now was the last time I played this game the uh, the mask didn't help me it is I thank you Oh, I there's no skip? There does you not appear to be a skip button. Open these crates. Call me thrice, and I shall grant you special powers. What, what, what is the point of soccer ball? They, I just realized he had an animation for that. Also, I cannot... Oh, that's weird. He's got a different jump. He can't do the high jump. And the input is very precise. There is not the, uh, the buffer that the previous Crash games had, including, including Wrath of Cortex. This game is buggy. There are so many ways you can sequence break. I will, I will go in with, uh, let, let me tell you, let me say what I remember about this game. I remember not completing it. I remember not totally hating the the presentation, but that it was extremely wacky and cartoony. And I remember not particularly liking that uh, I had to hoof it everywhere. There was not a warp station or any way to quickly move from level to level, which is part of why I never 100%ed it. At least we got a camera stick, which is itself very weird for a crash game. say the whole point of a crash game is uh you know the fixed camera oh i was in invincible i didn't even realize yeah this is extremely jack okay can i so i have the double jump from previous games i do not have the super spin helicopter oh, can i even make this i'm gonna have to do the the slide thing precisely Okay, I did it. It's still... It's way more precise than the previous previous games. I have to do it right at the end of the jump. There's a lot of hitting spherical objects in this game. I don't remember that at all. one such case of a nut that I uh, bring to hole to plant tree I do do that hello I 
think this is a different... That was a different Coco model from uh, Nitro Kart. But I'm not positive. It might have been the same one. Maybe she... I know she changes drastically before tag team racing. Did Nitro Kart have the straight hair one? Tag team racing, she has like, uh, like a ponytail, right? Well, it's always had a ponytail, but... Interesting mechanic. She had like a bandage and ponytail in tag team racing, I want to say. Okay, red gem already. Obviously can't jump through there. Oh. Hello. Not crazy about free roaming crash. I wonder if Charles has played this game. He, he loves Jack and Daxter one. A lot of just uh, walking into stuff to move it. So on the topic of SpongeBob, Barry knows this. We've talked about it in the Discord. But uh, for people watching this, you know, 20 years in the future, let's date this. They just announced a SpongeBob uh, crossover. Not crossover, a uh, spin-off. Wait, what? Hold on, I'm confused. Why is it now... It was firing just... It's not supposed to do that, right? I'm supposed to have to belly flop. Okay. Yeah, they just announced a Spongebob spin-off. Spongebob Kids. That's like uh, Spongebob Camp Laszlo. And I don't know how well it's going to go over, how much people on the internet matter, because, you know, no one has cable anymore. But they basically waited for Steven Hillenburg to die in order to do a Spongebob spinoff that he did not approve of. Some cases where you need to belly flop the cannon. Crash, uh, the game in which Crash gains psychokinetic powers. He look, look how gaily he runs. Having free roaming, it's still, is there still gems for like all the boxes? Because having free roaming levels is going to make that really difficult. Also, do we ever get inside the house? I feel like there was a thing where, uh, like, people theorized you could get in, but you never actually could in the game? Or am I thinking of something else? Maybe I'm thinking of, like, Fable had a house like that or something. I don't, oh, he just doesn't have the high jump at all anymore. I can't, uh, I can't even do the crouch to do it. Okay, so how do I get up there? Hey, Bale. When you kill a boss, don't touch them. They can still kill you. Wasn't that the case in previous Crash games? In some cases, at least. Oh, okay. Getting two color gems already. Are those less significant than they are in later games? Come on, follow me, Crash. Stay close and do what I do. 
I wonder who this Cortex is, if it's Lex Lang yet. Or if that wasn't until Insane Trilogy. I don't think you gain any new abilities throughout the game. I'm cool with that. That was the case with the first two Crash games. It was a little bit annoying that I had to beat the game before I was able to do the the time trials in any seri serious capacity in uh, 3 and Wrath of Cortex. Kind of less impact from destroying stuff. It's easy. Oh, too easy. So this is the part, this is the point where we learn that Cortex is physically capable of everything Crash can do. He really did platform up Slippery Climb every single morning to get to his laboratory. Oh. That's okay, he can live, he's fine. Camera, please. Camera, cooperate. Okay, so jumping on it makes them not go as far. What? Well, at least I can double jump belly flop now. Why is that not... Oh... Uh, that's dumb. It was within range. I should have just been able to shoot it. Was I invincible? Who is making these noises? Is it that guy I left alive? Is he following me now? Cortex is very patient while I'm doing all this. Get up there. Get up there, you shit! Lots of invisible walls in this jungle. I don't know if I'll 100% this on stream or not, just because solo streams have becoming more and more rare. Come on, you can make it. It's so close to getting over. Maybe. Probably not. Gonna come a point where you and Coco teleport somewhere and she gets frozen. And Coco kills you. Oh, okay. Good to know, I guess. Well, there's another thing I can do for now. I, I don't know how to get that, that one yet. Ah! Oh! I don't think it's worth 100%ing on stream. There's so many gems to collect. How many gems in the game are there? The just walking into stuff to move it feels very strange for a crash game. As does the free roaming worlds. There's a lot of very uncrashy stuff about this game. Which, I guess they were trying something different, but that something different is kind of just Jack and Daxter. So, Wrath of Cortex ripped off Crash 3. This time, Traveler's Tales is ripping off Jack and Daxter, is the plan. I could, I guess, try not getting it. Nope. I, I don't know how to get this one. Like, the 
hay bale's not gonna help, is it? There's stuff in the water too. But I don't I can't like uh I don't have like a wumpa, a wumpa cannon. I don't think that exists yet. I guess I could try to shoot it. Hey. Get crate. Did that work? No. Hello, Mango. Yeah, I have, I have today off and tomorrow off go weekend and uh, some time with Jack gone, so I don't know. I'm alright streaming a little later today. was thinking I might do a Smash stream tomorrow. I really have no idea. Slide it. I had not tried that. Oh, there we go. Well, that was good enough. That's right, I've heard tales about how very unfinished this game was. And you know what, in some ways, even the engine feels a little unfinished. Like, there's sound effects missing from doing things. Why is there fall damage in a crash game? I mean, it's not damage, but... The stun is very annoying and unnecessary. What's up? Oh, I don't want to touch him. Okay, he can li continue living peacefully. Abandon your evil ways, Frieza tribesman. I need you. There we go. I don't think my question got answered. Are there gems for all the boxes? It doesn't seem to be keeping track of boxes, which is also extremely uncrash like. Are you? <laughs> it's true. Blondes do have more fun. I remember that line. big open area. Like, they, the gems kind of seem like orbs in Spyro. In that they're just random, they're rewards for challenges. But there's not really any fanfare to getting one. They're just kind of around everywhere. Oh, there's multiple of color gems. I that's my second red gem. Game holds many memories for me since I got it in 2007. Yeah, it was included in the in the action pack. I rented it at uh, Hollywood Video. Well, you see, back in my day, we had these things called rental stores, and we could get video games there and try them and before we bought them. That's how that worked. We also had this thing called Gamefly. I never had Gamefly. I didn't do that. And Netflix was a mail rental service back in the age of the dinosaurs. Where you would receive your V your DVDs through snail mail. Oh, what is this? 
So it's, I guess, I guess that counts as a new kind of crate. It's like TNT, but with more fanfare. I didn't even have to, like, like fucking Sonic running through things. I don't even have to spin them anymore. I tried to, I tried to do it like older Crash games. This difference in the slide jump is really gonna fuck with me. I'm okay. The spikes broke my fall. 2000s are the new 90s at this point. I guess that was the 2000s when they were doing like the Netflix and everything, wasn't it? Was that a Crash foot? I don't know that we ever needed to see Crash's bare feet. That's kind of weird. Just wait till Crash Forces, where they can't stop making awkward jokes about Crash Feet. Nitros are very sensitive in this game. And you get a game show noise for an extra life. Yeah, you! I've been doing this for ten stinking years! Back and forward, back! D. Bradley Baker? Okay. That's uh, very self-aware humor, I guess. That's your thing. I wonder who that voice was. It sounded familiar. Oh, okay. People don't want to play games. They want to watch games play themselves. Uh... Checkpoint? What is that? That didn't explain anything. The time only this game came out, only Crash 1. I was eight years old. Huh? Skunk is a cheater? Oh, cause did he lie? Did he say ten years? Surprised to see me, Crash. There was no sound effects like for that removal. Her, I keep coming back. That's one of those unfinished yeah, things that I, I'm saying this game kind of feels like. Antarctic wastes. And I miss you. And so I've organized a little gathering. Like a Minimal animations on Crash's face. The exact opposite. And look, all of your friends are here. Why is Crunch with him again? You are so very popular. Let's start handing out the presents. Was Crunch tricked into thinking this was actually... A friendly reunion? Is that how they- Also, why is Polar there? Polar's mad about getting jumped on in Crash 2. Crash 1 didn't need to tell me how to beat the- beat the boss. Am I not gonna fight any of them, or they just- they just appeared for funs? I, I don't mean to be so negative. I'm, ju I'm just throwing shit. You don't see half of these villains in the game. I didn't remember. I, I remember some of them. I remember Brio. I remember... Who's Brio team up with? Entropy for no explained reason? And I remember the walrus. Was he a walrus? The chef. Stripe still got Tana. Can I go on a? Can I play a different game to re to like rescue her from Pinstripe?
caveman sheriff. I don't remember anything like that. I also remember the, the final villains, who just kind of appear, apropos of nothing. Now he's just ripping off Eggman. You are magnificent. Initiate missile attack. I can't throw fruits this time. Also, the spikes are an instant death. So in this continuity, Crash got through the first part of the fight without destroying the floor. Okay, there it goes. Do I, I can't, I just can't walk off the ledge. Okay. Does Crunch at least appear in this game? Aside from that brief scene? Crunch and Polar being there are very confusing. I'm still stuck on that. No Crunch. Okay. Imagine if Mario put out a game as buggy as this or like Sonic Heroes. I guess the closest was Sunshine. Sunshine felt unfinished, as I pointed out a few times while Jack and I were playing that. Not as bad as the others, though. Like this is this is the worst defender of the three so far. That sounded very undinga dialisk. Okay. Once again, learning that Cortex is known for his physical capabilities. Very capable of going toe to blow to blow with Crash Bandicoot. He just had to decide to do it. Science is just a hobby for him. So uh, at the at the very least, they brought back the ball levels I liked from uh, Wrath of Cortex. So that's cool. Oh, I needed to. There was probably a gem. God damn it. No, go back up. Nope. This game's glitchy. I know I can get back up there. Come on. Come on. Can I just. Yep, I can just sit here. Just watch them beat the shit out of each other. If you stop rolling, they have some bizarre anime- like this? What? Why is Cortex screaming ow as he slams Crash's face into the ground? Hold on, I need- we need a better view of this. These are good, uh, thumbnail candidates. What? Ex you can't do that. This is this is Twitch. Kids are watching. It's just Cortex screaming "ow" as he beats the shit out of Crash Bandicoot. Have we seen? I think we they they actually move slightly. Harder, Crash. I think we've seen all of them. They, they move slightly. 
I wonder how long it would take to slowly progress down the level by just letting the animations play out. That was a little bit of a delay there on that death. You really have to go slow in this, they, with all these nitros. They don't want you going fast. Sonic, this is not. And I missed the checkpoint. At least they're experimenting with new types of gameplay. I, I say that, this is, again, a lot like the ball sections. Except you can't, you just, you just don't move around like levels as much. It's, it's those on a track. Okay, I got it. Great. Oh. Uh oh. such precise motor controls while in this tussle of theirs. It's not really like moving me out of out of place much. A little bit. I can't jump, so uh, I don't think that's happening. Oh, oh, I see what they want. Alright. Oh, that's high. That's real high. That's way higher than I thought it would go. There's a nasty checkpoint that sends you back like 30 minutes in a level riddled with nitros. Getting all the gems in this game can be very difficult. I remember struggling a lot getting all the stuff in Jack and Daxter 1. Not, not the main collectibles, but the, the, the precursor orbs, little eggs. Those could be hidden in some really obscure spots. It was easy to miss one or two of them and just have no idea where, where they were. Because like this game, the levels were massive. I'm gonna give it one more shot and go real slow because they send you fucking rocketing. I guess they're dependent on how fast you go on them. Oh! Okay, that's that's precise. I'm not I'm not gonna worry about that. I don't think I'm gonna 100% this on on stream. This is very different from uh, previous Crash games. So, Darian, or Mango, have you guys played any of the, the two Crash platformers after this? The, uh, Crash of the Titans and... What was the other one? Mind Over Mutant. Are those kind of, like, level to level like this game is? Is there any kind of like warp room kind of thing going on. I'm imagining they're more like this, but, or maybe they do something else com different completely. Remember seeing discussion online about how they were shit? That's what I had heard as well, yes. I, I was looking at chat, so I completely missed that gem. It looks wonkier than usual. Looks not as neatly shaped. Oh, 
Okay. I guess I'll do that. Oh, I can't kill them. Well, not with slides, anyway. They're here for our crates? As standalone games, they're not bad. I guess they're just uh, not what Crash fans wanted, because they're not like the previous games. Which, I guess in that regard, would be kind of like Super Paper Mario, even though I still think that's a bad game, even aside from it just not being like the first two, but I'm in the minority there. People have, uh, people have changed their, most people have changed their tone on Super Paper Mario, and it's got a fan base. Okay, so I can belly flop them to kill them. Unskippable cutscenes are indeed a fine part of any PS2 game. Okay, I've not tried spinning them yet. I was trying to be a pacifist. It's easy to get distracted killing infinitely spawning enemies like Jack tends to. No, spinning does not kill. Spinning just stuns them. Belly flop kills. It takes him so long to get up after that. Yes, the crystal is mine. Minimal animations. Oh, they take multiple hits. In a crash game. What? That's crazy. Spin? Fuck that. I don't want to spin. I want to slide. I want to be cool 80s crash slide man. I can't even... Why is... Why am I prevented? From checkpoint. Well, now he just looks put upon. Like he will reluctantly acquiesce to joining Crash by this crystal. He's not really fighting it anymore. Well, so why... Still, why, why is it not, like, caved in or something? Why do they just make it inaccessible? They... Like, I can still clearly see it, and clearly see that I should be able to walk through that area. Throw me over there. Trust me. We're pals, right? I know the game is unfinished. I don't know the details of the developmental issues. So, uh, feel free... To share them with me as we're going through this, if you care to. Uh. But why did he activate it after I threw him? Why did he not then run off with the crystal? Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, we're good. We're fine. I cannot... I cannot, uh... Slide. But I can throw Cortex. That was a mistake. Yeah, dead. It gets better. He can teleport any anywhere he wants. So there's no reason. For, like, the moment he's separate from Crash, there's no reason he should not be, like, just teleporting straight to wherever. And just leaving. 
And now they're fighting again, because plot. I, I don't know what way they intended of getting the gem. Again, go slow. Roll downhill slow. I can, uh, I can see what Darian was talking about with them going absolutely bonkers with the amount of nitros in this game. Well, what's over here? Whole lot of fuck all. Cool platform. That was a cool animation, you know, like I, how I phased through the crates, do you see that? He did, he did not lose his momentum to throw a Cortex like I was expecting him to. Don't go on. Hit the thing. No? Stupid! Hit the crystal! No, spinning and then throwing did not do anything. Not as bad as Wrath of Cortex. I liked Wrath of Cortex. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, the Nitro Crate count? Yeah, I remember a lot in Wrath of Cortex. Still do for, uh... Still do for highlights of my Crash 3 Insane. I never did highlights of the original PS1 games. Or Wrath of Cortex, for that matter. Oh, I didn't get them. Hope I didn't need to. Oh! Cortex, please. Kids are watching. See if I can be a little better about hitting those crystals. I missed it again. Yeah, there he goes. I'm working on a lot of them right now. Right now, the main ones I'm doing are uh, Wind Waker and Battle Network. The Zelda, we always have fun with the Zelda playthroughs, and the Battle Network ones have also been uh, surprisingly good material. I got crushed by the crystals. We get good lore from Battle Network. Damn it. That's yeah, death. Running low on lives there. Oh, right, this game has lives. This is a very challenging section for early on in the game. They'll spell out the obvious shit you need to do against the bosses. This is a little less... A little less apparent to little kids, I would think. I can't double jump with Cortex. And now... He chooses to just fuck off. Oh, green 
nitro juice. I wonder how long the uh, nitro explosions linger. So why are those checkpoints golden globes as opposed to the other checkpoint crates? I guess they're more significant checkpoints. Oh, they're here already. Billy West? Let me see. I might have some chalky treats here for you. Chalky treats? Oh, oh! We've some good news and some bad. Bad news? We're going to destroy your precious islands. The good. You won't be around to see it. How tiresome. Oh, you want to play mind games? Okay, tough guy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play mind games. This is the part where you run away screaming. Okay, Shrek. <laughs> Go on, run! Catch you later, Brainiac! This is a strange game. Also, the music gets very loud after the cutscenes. run and there's no run button oh there's just a okay just a life cave oh there's more let's go to a gem what do the gems unlock again it's like uh, cut content right a like concept art and such This one's a dead end. I think. No? I'm so confused. Okay. Just a couple caves. Oh, was there. Uh, huh? Oh, I was invincible. I, I think. Why were those crates vibrating a moment ago? So we're back on, on the beach hub area. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. So, uh... I guess I'll just go home. Does Crash farm chickens? Why is why is there a chicken farm here? Next to Crash's house. He, he, farm, he and Coco farm chickens. I guess. Coco, you awake yet? Alright. Wait, huh? Come what? On, follow me, Crash! Stay close and do what I do! Uh... Did I just time travel? My duty is to protect you. You may summon me by breaking open these crates. Call me thrice, and I shall grant you special powers. Bro, I'm so fucking confused right now. There are two of him. So, wait, is two masks invincibility instead of three? Well, I'll go back the way I came, I guess.
Also, mask invincibility doesn't break crates. Also, it probably doesn't save me from those spikes, I'm gonna guess. So this is just gonna be watching a train wreck, is this game. checkpoint after checkpoint because it's amazing if the game functions long enough for you to bridge that gap uh, hey Bill into TNT that didn't work so mask also does not protect you from TNT I knew about the nitros but not TNT either This game is Sonic 06 if it was done right. Oh, this is this is the done right version. Arise, chicken. Oh, that's not working. World of wonder. Watch the look at the hay vibrate. Isn't it wondrous? Unintended gems. Darian, are you suggesting, perhaps, that there are things in this game that function not in the way the developers might have intended? Because I find that to be a ludicrous proposition. If there is any word to describe Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity, it is polished. Actually, it's not even called that. This is the 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 one Crash game to not have Bandicoot in the title. Correct me if I'm wrong about that. It's not Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity, it's Crash Twin Sanity. I don't know, this might be more Nitro Crates than Wrath of Cortex. music in here. They couldn't get Spiral Mouth to do cave music. I, mean, I figured it was something to do with the chickens and the nitro, but eh, who cares? I'm not going to complete this. You have to help me, Crash. You heard them. They want to destroy our island home. Humiliate them, enslave you, and steal my brain. How I envy the simple life of the tribe's folk. Living in He's doing the truffle shuffle. The noble boar, the humble bumblebee. Did he have a, a tattoo on the underside of his belly? Okay. New gameplay. Featuring Flight of the Bumblebees. Because why not? Certainly an experimental game. Now comes one of the most te more tedious sections of the game. Can I? Are there like different animations for Cortex dying? He just becomes Angel Cortex. Is that every every way he dies? He does that? No, I don't. I was going into a cave. I was going spelunking. 
alone, humiliate and enslave you, and steal my brain. Unskippable. How oh, I envy the simple life of the tribes. Yes, I'll take a sip of coffee. He has a barcode on his belly. With Mother Nature, the noble boar, the humble bumblebee. Is he still running that big and tall on the island? Also, that looked like a like a PS1 Papu Papu. How how much did they did they like really detail a new model that much? Because it didn't look like it. If you scan it, you get one seven seven one zero three. Is is that a reference to something? Like how it went down before crash landed. Now fast mode. I don't mind this. I don't think it's tedious. Oh! It's the infamous Dojin I like bringing up. I feel like it's been mentioned, but I don't remember this work of art. Uh, uh oh oh okay that's fine well it was fine he can he can push me I don't actually have to I was worried if I touched him I was gonna die from the bees or something oh good I can't spin them You don't get the, the, the oomph of the plants getting flown away. They just kinda they just kinda die. They get they peter out. It gets tedious in later areas. So this happens multiple times, the the beehive. Cortex has bad luck with bees. I remember Wrath of Cortex, like 90% of the budget seemed to go to the, the celebrity actors in the game. You know what? I'm gonna pull up Chrome. I end up talking about voice actors every solo stream anyway, I might as well see who's in this. I keep trying to do the crash earlier games jumping. Also ask, will Crash Twin Sanity be remastered? What animal is Crash Bandicoot? He's a wallaby. IMDB. Wait, why are you not giving me like the wiki? There it is, the Wikipedia. I assume that has the voice actors. I feel like I've heard Billy West or D. Bradley Baker at some point by now. jump right into that future and canceled sequel I'm just gonna go safe do that
Even the bear doesn't hurt me. He doesn't care. He didn't give a shit about me. Okay, I gotta stop for a second to look at these. Future and canceled sequels. According to Keith Webb, one of the main artists, plans for a sequel not accepted by Vivendi Universal. Plot would have centered about around Crash getting sucked into various TV shows. By an invention created by Cortex, similar to the Gex series. That does, I immediately thought of Gex when I heard that. Okay, I'm going to go to IMDB for the voice cast. You know, the Internet Movie Database. Best movie is uh, Crash to Insanity. Lex Lang? Okay, so this is when... This is presumably when Cor uh, Lex Lang started as Cortex. Debbie Derryberry was on board for uh, Coco. I'm sorry, this is only a second. I I'm really curious who the aliens were. Quentin Flynn as Penguin. I don't see the aliens listed. Drat. IMDB does not seem to have it. Maybe one of you guys can uh, look up the alien and see if you can find anything. Maybe like a Crash Bandicoot Wikipedia. And once again... Okay, that, that time the problem was I tried to use D-pad, which apparently is way slower than analog. No, it's not. Wait. Oh, sometimes it is. You see how he just suddenly slowed down for no apparent reason? You really gotta bust your ass to get to this one. You do not have any time to spare. Ah, oh, I want, but I wanted to crush the bear. I gotta save my boy Cortex. Quentin Flynn is the VA for both evil twins. He's been in the series a while. Wasn't he, like, original PS1 uh, engine? Be a speedrunner or fuck off, says Crash Twin Sanity. I can't... Okay, you know what? I need to jump on it. That's the problem. It's so much easier to spin it, though. That was a cutscene. That was so short and insignificant looking that I thought I then had to run over and save him now. No, he, he was taken away somewhere. I guess I'm supposed to be in this cave. This was seemed like the obvious place to go. I wonder how aware of this game Charles is as a Jack fan. And River. I wonder, what else, I wonder what else I know Quentin Flynn from. Crouch behind the reeds before the tribesman sees you. It's a sniper section? Okay. It's not something I think about with Crash Bandicoot, but it's something. Hey, wow! 
Slam, and welcome to the jam. Uh oh. Yeah, no amount of masks will save you for, save you from drowning, which I guess was always the case. This mixing quality is like Emperor's New Groove on the PS1 tier, which is not not a gr not great. That wasn't a high point of that game. Tree fell. I'm sure it's nothing. Duck in the boat to hide. I'm assuming he's gonna like snipe me with a blow dart. But how they suddenly appear so close for no reason. That happens sometimes in Emperor's New Groove, which maybe I'll do that one of these days. Maybe that'll be a solo stream. Because that's a game that I grew up with that a lot of people aren't going to know. Oh, there was a guy up there I was supposed to avoid. I did not even realize he was up, up there. Uh, was I supposed to... Yeah, I was supposed to come down here. Can I use that? A bunch of spears impale you from the sky. Oh, okay. That doesn't look worth it. I'm not I'm gonna not get those. Okay. Oh, hello. New mechanic. Cause why not? This feels like a tech demo. What could we do in a Crash Bandicoot game? And then they just took it and made it the game. This entire game feels like the not the Insomniac Museum in Ratchet and Clank. Who's laying all these bear traps? What kind of bears are they trying to catch on a cliffside? Alright, we're in a village now. Not only is it Spiral Mouth, it's royalty-free Spiral Mouth. Stormtrooper humping music. I ex excuse me? Is this perhaps in reference to a YouTube poop I am unfamiliar with? I watched through some of the... Well, I'm watching through various points of the Spyro Reignited Trilogy for the first time. Because I have not myself played it yet. And I have mixed feelings about some of the... I mean, the game itself looks and looks like it plays great. I have mixed feelings about some of the voice changes because uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the wackiness, the cartooniness present in the original PS1 deliveries is gone. And it's just kind of safe land in a lot of the cases not even like stereotypical offensive voices getting cut just fun cartoony ones oh there's a thing below I, I am I'm afraid I am not familiar with air humping stormtrooper 
I feel uncultured now. Landed on head. Got hurt by spear. So wait, how does this work? We're gonna go back this way? Okay. I don't know why I'm getting any of the gems, really. If I'm not getting all of them, what's the point? Aha! Oh, it was worth a shot. It's such an, an unnecessary, annoying animation. I, I do like I do like challenges and collecting stuff, though. If nothing else, that part, that aspect of this game does appeal to me. If only it were, like, done well at all. I'm just gonna platform all the way back, because I don't want to go up the cliffside again. Can I join Spiral Mouth? Can I be the bassist? Oh, hello. Cool. Wait. Wait. Kiss it. Caterpillars up here. I, I know, I know who it is. I, I know who Papu. I know Papu Papu. I'm an avid Crash fan. Don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Is all. I guess I'll go over here and check out these roofs. These go nowhere. Oh, the huts from Crash 1, yeah. So this is not a worm. So I'll go this way. I, I found you, Cortex, but I can't help you. Nothing personal. I mean, it is personal, but it's not, also. the sounds that the tribesmen make sound so unpolished. So there's all these holes all, uh, all over the place that I know I'm gonna have to interact with, but there's no worms in them. On the plus side, these boars can actually be killed, unlike all boars in previous Crash history. Gotta go back to ground level and smash the caterpillars. Where were they? Were there caterpillars at the very start? I thought I checked back there again. I've been looking for caterpillars. Oh, there, there he is. It even told me what to do, and I just completely missed it. Poor harassed worm. What an evil looking motherfucker too. Like he this would be the bad guy in the straight to video Bugs Life sequel. Is this caterpillar? Alright, 
Alright, where are you, you fecker? My problem. And now I run because I'm assuming, unlike every other tribesman, I can't kill these ones. I mean, granted, I haven't tried, but. Nope. For no explained reason. These ones are immune, unlike all the previous ones I have spun. Well, you see, now that it's not to save Cortex, a beloved friend with a great amount of history, Crash is unwilling to do anything but the pacifist route. He, can, he can't slay these people just for being who they are. Also, not really given much leeway in the camera. Like, even less so than the usual Crash Bandicoot run forward towards the camera levels. I can't see shit where I'm going. Yeah. Good old circle cam. Unnecessary fall damage. Back to Spongebob music. Hey, Spongebob, what game are we gonna play today? I can't really do Spongebob voices, but th those are the ones that the kids on the bus know, so that's all I get asked to do. Those and once the once the kids last year found out I could do some Shrek voices. It was just those and and Shrek. I don't make it too obvious that I can do cartoon impressions on the bus anymore. Kids these days watch the old oh, Sponge. Well, if, yeah, it's all Nickelodeon errors. And my Wumpa trees won't grow. For my orchard is riddled Knew the character. Worms. If you rid my land of these pests, I'll give you this power crystal. Eustace the Ostrich. I'm an evil scientist. What do you expect? Ha ha. Ha ha. Self-referential humor. Funny laughs. It's okay. It's set to stun. Oh. But we still have the option of getting rid of said pests. Whack-a-mole. Okay, yeah, of course it's whack-a-mole. Very forgiving whack-a-mole. From the looks of it. Yeah, this isn't hard at all. Fifteen seconds to spare. Can't believe he's fucking dead. It's a real shame we couldn't save old Koopa, Luigi. We had to put old Koopa down. Why? Why, though? You just doing a little Russian dance? A disproportionate amount of the stream is just going to be standing still and watching weird shit happen. I tell you, you boys have been doing Mario is one of the fiendish five. Uh, hey, what, what were you referencing? I thought it was. I thought you were doing the Mario and Luigi cartoon. So much to see, so much to destroy. So who else was Quentin Flynn? Yeah, back 
in the tenth dimension, we don't have anything near as nice as the totem gods. The vivid colors, the intricate carving, you know, it's almost as if he's riding his axle. Silver the Hedgehog. Avatar the Last Airbender. There was a character named Dr. Gaylord in The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Sheldon and Teenage Robot. Those anime dubs. Very, very minimal. Oh, he was the main character in uh, Digimon Part 5. And Cone. Oh. Oh, it's Cone from Bleach. Okay, that that's okay, that's where I recognize the name Quentin Flynn from. From that one role. That's all it takes. I'm definitely going to be hearing that now. From the twins. So I'll just throw Cortex and see what see how it goes. Get him, Cortex! Oh, that didn't work. Oh. I missed. Give it to me. Oh. So, just one of those wait for opening bosses. Run around until mouth open. Yes, he is in fact Cone. Oh, unskippable cutscenes. I tell you, you boys have been doing swell. Just swell. I can, it's just, I can hear it. It's Cone now. in the sights of Insanity Island here. Nice digs. So much to see. So much to destroy. They got the native village, the lava caves, the totem gods. Yeah, back in the 10th dimension, we don't have anything near as nice as the totem gods. The vivid colors, the intricate carving, you know, it's almost as if they're alive. <laughs> yeah. Almost. Exactly as if they're alive. Sorry. Oh, loud. We have to fit that back to the end of the proper screen size later. You know what? I'm gonna throw Cortex. I'm gonna let him do his laser gun thing. That seemed to work out okay. What? Oh, I missed my chance. I didn't see the little dudes. At least he's got a good scream. I mentioned this during the Insane Trilogy playthrough. Le Lex Lang, I don't think he was in Bleach in any capacity. He's an old anime voice actor who was the Street Fighter fella in Roroni Kenshin. And a couple other obscure roles here and there in old anime. He, he doesn't do a ton, Lex Lang. He probably makes a lot of his paycheck off Cortex these days. Cool uh, floating Cortex there. Cortex, he's too far away. No. I have no idea if throwing Cortex actually triggers the correct thing or not. But what this seems to be working, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. Also, I like how the hand was not able to reach the ground because it had to stop on Cortex's head. Come on. Do your shit. There seems to be every few attacks. Uh, 
right, come on. Get the little scientist man. Bosses in this game are very arbitrary. Just got a lot of giant things and not necessarily returning crash enemies. We were shown returning crash enemies, like teased with them even. Then they just, nope, nope, we didn't fight them. Yes, dance, Cortex. Dance for my amusement. I will remember not to touch this boss's corpse as it will kill me. Guys die too. There's nuts? Well, you gave it your best shot. But even now, a vice versa reverse the device is an operation, sucking the goodness out of this dimension and leaving behind the worst of all possible worlds. We just like making a mess. Is that their motivation? The they like making mess. This I shot I looks like it's just straight out of Space Jam. Tenth dimension. Yes, yes. In the dark ocean of my intellect swims a magnificent whale. That plot of a device, you mean the literal the device they just mentioned? Yet. The game is on. So some random aliens are going around causing random chaos for no real explained reason. And it's up to us to randomly stop them. Oh. So even after the fight. Oh no. Am I now stuck? Do I have to do this again or can I move on to the next area? I thought you just meant like during their death animation. No, after the fight even. They're just lying there. Hello, computer virus. Enjoy some voice acting from Cone. Okay, enough of that. Not not actually ending, just there because Cone's there. I, I thought you meant, like, the death animation, though. Like, not touch him during the several seconds where he's dying. I did not consider that his corpse would even remain when able to traverse the, ep the level later. Gotta do this again. So, uh, computer, I just turn it down again. It gets, gets so loud during the music after the cut. You know what? Options. Maybe we can turn that down and leave the. Maybe the effects volume is the cutscenes volume. That'd be nice, because the music gets so loud when it gets back to the actual game. His animations look nice, this giant stone fella. Like, they're way better than a lot of the cutscenes, to be frank. We are learning... Mr. or Miss Virus, that this is an extremely buggy and incomplete game. Which, you know, the last time I played this... What year was it? 2004 it came out? So I must have played it 04 or 05. Which means I was... 11 years old? 11 or 12? I guess I just didn't notice... at the time. But this game is more popular with the uh, fans of the series than uh, Wrath of Cortex is. Is that fair? Is that fair to say?
I guess in that way, Wrath of Cortex is kind of like the Skyward Sword. In that uh, a lot of it was because it was retreading a lot of the same again. Same formula. Same game as Crash 3, just over again. Cutscene so nice, we see it twice. We just like making a mess. Nope, start to skip does not, there is no skipping. I, I attempted, wait. Okay, that start did not work. I pressed X and square that time. So if you've seen a cutscene before, you can press some buttons to skip it. But only if you're replaying a section that you have played before. Like, even if you die, if you haven't completed the section, you have to do it over and over again. Okay, where'd Cortex go? It's only pre-rendered cutscenes that you can skip. I was trying before that. Hey, mirror. Mirror! Come on. Come here. No? Hey. Ow. I was trying to use my invincibility frames. It was a little bit slow. That's right, I can't even use... I guess that's why the uh, mask doesn't save you from nitros. Is because otherwise you could cheese stuff like this. Come on. Come into the nitros. Now trigger that right here. Thank you! I realized that was not the intended way to do it. That's exactly why I did it that way. This game has some violent graphics. What? Was that his dismantled body? Yes, it was. In fact, it... Come on to my boat, furry man. I can take you to the other place. I, do I want to go to the other place? Who's speaking? This is a suspicious invitation. There was, uh, like an orange toad crash foot in that dismantled body part. Which is weird. I didn't need to see Crash Foot. I hadn't seen it before this game. Oh, that completes World 1. Okay. On to Ice Place. I get, how, how many worlds are there in this game? I remember... There's the Academy. Or like the, the Cortex horror place where Nina's at. Before you rise a cathedral of I don't remember anything genius. after these three. Scary. But in the wrong hands, this iceberg lair could do much goodness in the world. Of course, only I have the key. Absurd. Follow me. I know another way. I can kind of hear Lex in there. It's still really weird hearing him in such a very different role than he usually is. Or different than I know him as. He definitely does Cortex a lot better than he did his anime roles. Maybe he wasn't paid very much for those. Of co This, of course, being a game that just screams high budget. Say with a little bit of a uh, little bit of sarcasm. Can you tell? Oh, I didn't want up there anyway. We have uh, we have discovered this game to be extremely buggy, Sandy. There have been many interesting interactions thus far. Some sequence breaks having to redo at least one boss fight. Many unintentionally claimed gems. 
And even if it was fully functional, this is extremely different from the usual crash formula in many ways. I find it a lot more comparable to uh, Jack and Daxter. Here we have uh, Bartok from Anastasia. Was that his name? The Bat? The only character in that movie that they decided was marketable enough for spin-offs. He got a spin-off movie? I think he might have had a cartoon show. That all kind of went under the radar. More of them uh, sweet nitros. Got some rocket penguins that look like they're spyro enemies. No pirate clowns unless you count in pirate clowns. Oh, but because Buggy the pirate. Okay. Do you think Buggy would like this Buggy game? That that's a stretch. Another uh, very similar voice to Cone. I'd buy Quentin Flynn as Buggy, come to think of it. He's not, but I'd buy him. Uh-oh. I didn't realize that was moving. It was uh, Mike McFarland, I believe, voiced Buggy. Crates. Without the gem crates, the crates are kind of more pointless than ever. I mean, they were never pointless. Now they're definitely pretty point, pretty pointless. Oh, we got classic crash enemies returning. Aww. Hope I didn't need that. Assuming I can't spin these guys. At least the nitros aren't bouncing up super high to intercept my jumps. So that's nice. The boxes don't move. No? What boxes are you familiar with that move, Sandy? I'm confused. I remember showing that clip in Discord when he just randomly screamed in Luffy's face. Buggy? Is there a point that he randomly screams in Luffy's face? So where am I going? I'm going over there. Like running up an escalator going the wrong way. Nitro is also m actually more fragile in this game. Nitros and TNTs both seem to uh, immediately explode upon falling a short distance, which was not the case in previous Crash games. I don't like that live sound effect. It's very ill-fitting. Very not fanfarous. Is that a word? That didn't work. Except I didn't lose my mask? Did I have a stage 2 mask? I still don't know if stage 2 masks are a thing. I haven't been paying close enough attention. It's during the escape from Impel Down, breaks Buggy out, they go over an escape plan. Okay, I remember that. Yes, he does in fact randomly scream at Luffy. Both very screamy voices. I hesitated because the platform was shaking. Those physics, though. So that that's where the dev time went. Is floating platform physics. Look at that. Oh. Oh, 
Well, this isn't tedious at all. This game doesn't have relics, does it? Oh, that was down there. Shot in the dark, computer virus person. You ever watch Code Lyoko? The uh, French animation that aired for a time on Cartoon Network? Because, uh, that's my favorite computer virus, is Xana. The check bounced. Are you sure? Well, the past few years have kind of been slow. Wrath of Cortex didn't do as well as we'd hoped, and... Fish? Fish. Does this count as cringe comedy? These unfinished cutscenes. My Crash Bandicoot fan project. Made in Maya. 2004? Was this yeah, was already the release of this game? Oh, that's right. I can't double jump with Cortex. That's right. You did draw me as a Code Lyoko character. I forgot that. Five head and all. So I guess they want me to do that. Whew! Excuse me. can't even imagine who would... A, this game having relics. B, who would complete this game with all the relics. I couldn't even bother to do that for Wrath of Cortex, and I liked Wrath of Cortex. Maybe I got all the relics. I didn't get all the platinums, definitely. And I wouldn't have on uh, Crash 3 insane if they weren't made easier than Crash 3 original. Ow. Oh, that's instant? God damn it. Aku Aku has no idea how to deal with explosions. Cortex, get down here. I need you. No, I guess I can't do that. Or I'm just missing, which is also entirely possible. I'm gonna crash at a gun. This game doesn't really add anything new to Crash's own moveset. Like, there's not anything in this game that could really be a, like a move in, in Smash Brothers or something. Because all the new mechanics involve Cortex. I wonder if this game had gotten a sequel, or had gotten, like, a lot more development time. If there could have been a co-op mode. One is Crash, one is Cortex. That'd be neat. Co-op Crash game. I'm not, I saw that gem, but I'm not gonna bother with it, because I don't know how to easily get it. Oh, that worked. I thought that was a glitch for a second there.
He did that. Yes, the bazooka was what I was referencing. I would love for Crash to get the smash and for one of his taunts to be the, uh, like, pulling the crystal out of his pants animation. Get him! I'm just gonna not go in that center part. That's a good an that's a good animation. Just standing there. Ah! Well. Shouldn't have made fun of the game. The game knew. I'm gonna do it again though. I don't give a fuck. He act he actually pushes himself onto the onto the thing. If you give him enough time, he'll get he'll get back on. Come this way, Cortex. Uh, is this a gem up here? This is a lot of stuff. Is this the way to go? Which is the way to go? Maybe this down here is the gem. Yeah, it's a gem. How hard is this? Oh, that's fine. It's just a thing to hit. Hit it, Cortex. No! Cortex, you're useless. You useless cunt. There, there will be many highlights for this game. I wish I had a way of making it uh, look a little better than the PX2, PS2. Unfortunately, it is not on an emulatable console. The one that I, I haven't looked into PS2 emulation. Uh oh. Uh, okay, good. He'll come back. Is that, is that what you call security consoles? It's just levers again. I thought I soft locked it for a second too. Cortex is weirdly totally okay with this abuse. He has not left yet. Oh, oops. How'd he get here? Who has released me from my icy tomb? Who do you think? I am I. Can it be? Crash and Cortex? I don't know whether to kiss you. I thought it was the same you. voice for a second. Now it doesn't sound that way. Okay, why though? Cause Crash made kissy face? We're just- Uka Uka has been downgraded to a mid-game boss. Trigger switches. Switches where? Oh. Well, go on. We're not even fighting him. The goal is just to fuck off. That's what that does. It's a 
very uh, technological platform to be fighting spirit mask demon Uka Uka on. I just jumped onto it again. On the plus side, I will be I will be very mindful about not touching the corpse this time. Uka Uka the Ice Golem, obviously. That's what he's always been. Haven't you paying, been paying attention the past several Crash games? So obviously these devs have. Good, uh, good attack. Even this boss has you hit, like, three different things around the arena. What a patronizing piece of shit the first two Bowser fights were in Mario 64. I shall return! Uka, Uka, wait! An oh. evil greater than even yours threatens to destroy this world. That's... okay. Oh, that's my job! Divided, we are but two magical masks. Join me. And together we shall defeat this evil infestation. I like a challenge. I accept. This should be fun. The Aku Uka brothers together again. That was easy. Also, that was a very different Uka Uka voice. There's so little fanfare to the cutscenes in this game. They just happen over the background music. Like, the pre-rendered run ones, you can tell, they have, like, everything set aside for, but they're so few and far between. Like, that was a pretty major event to be happening to just no recognition at all. fruit collectibles being placed about as if this was still a crash PS1 game. Where we needed to get all the crates. Also, look at that slowdown. As you might have uh, guessed from my previous talk about emulation, this is being played on an actual PS2. There are version differences between the PS2 and Xbox versions. Them mainly being, as I understand, that uh, the textures are better in the, on the Xbox, but every other aspect of graphics is worse. Like, there's less particles, the frame rate isn't quite as good or something. Or less particles and not as good animation. Can you imagine having animation worse than this version of the game? It's probably for you. <laughs> Fools! You thought these two body boys could defeat us? We are masters of the infinite dimension. It's so cone. See the highlights and now. I'm just gonna Photoshop his face over them. Riches? Riches? What's wrong with you? Always bringing up the riches. You don't remember us, do you, Doctor? Should I? You ruined our lives. Allow us to return the favor. And then... Oh, wait, there's a boss fight. Okay, that was abrupt. With this music still. You couldn't squeeze one more track out of Spiral Mouth. This is safe, that's fine. Oh, I guess I should probably, like, save Cortex, huh? Save him, I guess. So they take two hits. I did not even consider that they would be enemies with multiple hit points. That's not really a thing in Crash, usually. 
or it's usually made more obvious if it is. So, how much more do I have left before the end of uh, Chapter 2, The Ice World? That seems like a good uh, stopping point. I'm imagining. Am I, like, within half an hour of that? Dr. Cortex, what have you done? Who are these evil upstarts? I've ruined the lives of so many, I can't be expected to remember them all. Such a big head! Such a tiny brain! If we deliver him to the evil twins, perhaps they will spare us. But they'll kill me! That's a risk I'm willing to take! Crash, I've been like a father to you. I created you, nursed you, tried to destroy you. So what do you say? With my mighty intellect and your vacuous stupidity, we'll be unbeatable! Come along! And her existing. What does Nina bring to the team? I remember the walrus is here. We have the walrus and we have uh, Brio to fight. So I cannot appear to go this way yet. I, I, th I think, I guess. Down? Don't. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm back down here again. To what end, I don't know. Yeah, everything is very loud again. As it tends to be after cutscenes. Not just in the lab? It's okay, it was a productive detour. I got a gem that are very useful, I, I guess. I'm gonna give them to money bags and unlock new areas. SpongeBob jokes. So this this way into the lab does not appear open. Is this just a different lab now? A different island? Or is it winter on the Insanity Isles? Gateway to the infinite dimensions beyond our universe, somewhere between the ninth and eleventh dimensions, lies the mysterious tenth dimension. And there we must go in order to confront the evil twins, steal the riches, okay. and restore the natural order of things with me on top. 
We require six Again. in order to make the leap, and we have important story cutscene. That isn't enough. All is lost unless. What do we need? We need crystals. Imagine they got the Beach Boys to do a Crash Bandicoot soundtrack. Imagine the Beach Boys happened around the time that they could do a Crash Bandicoot soundtrack. Well, go on. Uh... Was I not paying attention when I should have been again? Rob? Chen, help, what am I doing again? Am I going back out here? There's a checkpoint here. Is this way to go? Am I gonna come out the other side of this cave and drop into a Brio encounter? Is that how this goes? I vaguely remember something like that. The events in this story just kind of happen. There's no... It, everything is a non sequitur. It really is just a Looney Tunes plot. Oh, here we go. Our salvation floats upon the briny blue. We must reach engine's battleship and kick. And kick. Sail. But how? Think, Cortex, think. And butt. There it is. Sponge butt. He's so enticed by the butt. Crash grab hands. They just played that music for the butt wiggle. That's all it was there for. Hey, stupid, press X to jump. Oh, we Tony Hawk now. You know what's funny? I remember making a Crash Bandicoot joke during the... the Sand Hill part of Sonic Adventure 1. The sand surfing. Explosives, not nitros. There's the nitros. I was waiting for him. Uh oh. Oh, he's fine. In previous crash games, touching the metal parts would have electrified us. That was actually a little bit generous. Part of me wonders if Lex got this role because he's good at screaming. This is a skill that would develop from a career in anime dubbing. I honestly forgot crystals were even in this game. So what happens if I don't get it? If I just like jump over it or something? Do I have to somehow do this part over again?
I'm sorry, I've run it. Hey, Tana's here! Ladies? Excuse me, madam. Are those real? Mother? I've run out of commentary. I, I can only just I can only just let the game play itself now. Until until we fight Frog Relay Brio. I still don't know what these do, if anything. I've been hitting the green things now and then, and they don't seem to do anything. Well. Best joke in the game. Cortex's mother being at the Cortex strip bar? That itself raises a whole lot of questions about her character. Oh, it raised the ramp is what it did. I remember a lot of the dumb jokes. Like, the, the comedy is very forced in this game, in a lot of ways. I am more interested in the buggy shit, which I did not remember how much of it there was. Maybe OG Cortex actor was not up to snuff of doing all this wacky shit. He was too, he was too intimidating, too serious. The mask is getting in the way of the camera. Oh well, look, he appears. No sound effect. Rumble. So no sound effect. It's a little higher voice than usual, but you know, that's fine. I can buy that for Dingo Dial. I forgot there was a Dingo Dial fight. So this is going to be a bunch of bosses in very close proximity. didn't help. You know what? Let's not get that. A woman with nice big bags of ice for my head. It's a little more Ganondorf than Cortex. Well, hello there, Mr. Bandicoot. I've joined the Villain Exchange Program. You're new. What's your story? He's a wrestling rhino. Cool. This section's probably the cruelest in the game. One global checkpoint and three whole bosses in quick succession. I guess the walrus counts as boss. Do those even give you Wumpas anymore? What did I blow up? I didn't even see. I got a mask. Are those a bunch of Koala Kongs? Those are a bunch of the Rhino Dudes. There, there are several of them, and I just walked right off. I didn't even realize I got this checkpoint. What do you mean, scrapped enemy? They're right here. Hmm. Oh, well. Good dialogue. The 
Because you got plenty of lives. That bastard rat! Shout out to Tony Hawk. Shout out to Donkey Kong. I got bonked inside the platform. Does this count as a boss? Is this an engine f What? Huh? Hold on. So... I'm not gonna press anything. So, I was able to move my character during that cutscene. Is what I think was going on. And I, yes, I was I was walking during the cutscene. Also, that rat is right on my ass. As soon as the cutscene ends. I thought that's what that's what was happening as soon as it happened, but I want I wanted to be sure. Camera. So the camera wanted to force itself into a position. I didn't realize that until it was too late. Oh, the rat! I'm gonna I'm gonna mash the spin button during the cutscene to kill the rats off screen. It's a particularly functional part of the game right here. Cutscenes are not a free action in Crash Twin Sanity. Nope. Think I, well, okay, there's bouncing crates. Oh, damn it. Well, this seems like a pointless path down here. Unless that's the way I have to go. This is a very confusing room. Is there a... I thought there was going to be an explosive in there. We're not even at any of the bosses yet. Dying by pits takes a long time. Yeah, that is the that is the Zelrog panic sputter. You get used to it if you watch me stream for a little while. Can't see rat spinning wildly. Can't relax till rat is dead. It's got Spongebob music, it's got Spongebob seagulls. Where- okay, that was a cool camera transition. Okay, where am go? Am go here? Again, pretty demanding platforming for uh, somewhat early in the game. This is spiking faster than the original Crash games, which I never considered that hard. Then people went back to playing them 
And they're like, oh my god, this is Dark Souls! Babies. I assume this is what I'm supposed to be doing. The fucking needless fall damage. All the TNT crates here give you a gem. Is that what's down here? Or is there another way to go? Oh, you mean the detonators, so I don't need to worry about those. doesn't look like a fun room to get a gem in. Something I could conceivably do off-stream if I was really bored, but... Don't think I will. I think I'm okay with not 100%ing Crash Twin Sanity. Even the music in the factory of death and explosions is so very whimsical. Really, the stage two mask isn't different colored, I think, is what's messing with me. No, he just sparkles more. Or he just sparkles is the stage two. Okay, so it's like a radius, like the checkpoints. You just have to get the crystal, the crystal if you come in with a certain uh, radius. Oh. So we drop from Dingo Dial down to Brio. Lure Engine. This is not Dingo Dial, this is Engine. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, and we gotta wait to cross this every single time we do this. How many lives we got? We got ten lives. What a weird crash face that is for the lives. So I'm not trying to hit those flags. At least not yet. Guess I'll just run from the missiles at first. Imagine he just pulled out a pistol and shot him. I think Pinstripe had the right idea. Nope, not the flags. We uh, do not get any engine voice lines for this fight. All we get is oh! That's the entirety of engine in this game. Which I understand he gets kind of humorous in tag team racing, so I hear. Solid, uh, thrilling boss music, as always.
Alright, come on, do your shit. I liked how in Crash 1, the Cortex fight ended with him just shooting the reflectable at you. Just made it nice and easy. Like, fuck it, you get. Uh, God damn it. It spells out for you how to do beat the bosses, but not do anything else. Despite the bosses being mostly straightforward. This one I kind of get why they would need the explanation for. Not the previous ones, though. Like, come on, there was a big target in the thing's mouth while it was open. This would be so easy if I just had my bazooka. I'm worried because the hit the hitboxes for the things, the spikes are bigger than they look. Which, they, I guess they have to be, otherwise you wouldn't be able to walk into the center one, but even so. Alright, come on. No, 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 no. A lot of these bosses just have you running around waiting to the, for them to expose a weak point. That is, in fact, a trait of uh, poor boss design, I would say. Here he is. Ah, you me. Ace line delivery. What accent is that? Who cares? Doesn't matter. Does this character have a name? This walrus fella? Let's hear it again. That's Murray. It's probably not actually him, but it sounds like Murray from Sly. Well, I've got that just in time. Sly, fresh meat for my butt! That probably peaked. Just going out of the way for anything is death. Fast walrus. Easily the second fastest walrus I've seen in a video game. He, he like flubbed the line delivery. And I guess it made the director laugh and he said, fuck it, put it in? Like he had to start a sneeze as he was finishing the sentence. I'm like, put, hold on a minute. Fastest one. Oh, Chen's never played Diddy Kong Racing. This is this is what's gonna eat all my lives. I'm not gonna get past this walrus, which I remember this guy eating my lives originally. I remember this being a pain. This part of the game stuck out in my mind. I don't remember much of the castle with Nina. I remember this part.
Okay, so the next life I, I haven't gotten is on the left. Can you die by nitro? No? Oh, good. Oh, no. Not good. Well, we got a checkpoint. Life's on the right. Almost got a few going on there. I don't know what an acapella fugue would sound like. That'd be interesting. You're like Smooth McGroove cover one. Alright, lives on the right. At some point. Not that one. There it is. And then there's one on the left, I think. I don't remember when. Fuck! No, I already got that one. Castle section is an awful lot of shooting things, playing as Cortex. Listening to the background, I keep hearing fresh meat for my butt. It doesn't sound, it does in fact sound like that. Fresh meat for my butt! Did he just spike me? I'm down to five lives. Five lives, burger and fries. I mean, it could be worse. I could be having to, uh... I could be having to shoot things while guiding Murray as he runs from this guy. I want this guy to be in, cra in like, uh, Crash Bash 2. The walrus dude. Let's bring him back. Wally the walrus. Walrus winger. Make that, make, uh, make Renji his voice actor. We got Cohen in the game. Several times over. He's like half the, half the cast. This game featuring an all-star cast of 90s anime dub actors. Just need Steven Bloom. Why isn't this guy in Nitro Field when Rillaroo is? Oh, is Rillaroo in Nitro Field? That's kind of cool. I mean, Rillaroo is on the PS1 at the very least. You know, the, the height of Crash. Not the start of the fall of Crash. Which, I guess the start... Well... I guess a lot, a lot would argue that that was like uh, Crash Bash was the start. Wrath of Cortex got some bad stuff going on. This was very divisive. I have to pee. Can this boss fight, these boss fights? That was it, that was the engine fight. Going through his thing and running from a walrus. Engine is defeated. What is wrong with his eyes? Tell us where the treasure is and we'll let you go. And why are you here? Sight. Looks like we'll have to wring it out of him. In Rio, get changed. Not a word. And Rayleigh? Big frog? Yep. Well, he's not. I guess, yeah, he's kind of a frog. The most non sequitur of all video game plots. There's no reason anything in this game happens. Also, there was a voice crack in that final audio cut. Let you go. Every Sight. line was a single Sight. take. They couldn't be bothered for more. Embryo, get changed. They couldn't get the Brio actor. They couldn't replace the Brio actor. They couldn't get Quentin Flynn to do Brio. 
just silence. But they did get someone to voice Monster Brio. They couldn't get someone to go, oh, yeah, oh, as he drank the potion. Uh-oh. Oh, that's how that works. And then he does air guitar. The rats are leaving the sinking ship. Elsewhere, the treasure. It sounds like Jafar. But I guess he always sounded like Jafar. Looks like we'd have to ring it out of him. Embryo, get changed. So Embryo is very dark. Like he looks burnt. The rats. Down to two lives. I think this is the final boss of the area, right? This is the end of Ice Place. Is these guys. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so I just, uh, oh, that was the whole sequence, and then Brio again. So I don't do shit to Brio. He just kind of tires himself out. While Tropy wax shit. I don't want to be too close to him, I don't think. Until I do want to be close to him. What? Ah! I got bumped by his non-hitbox body, and then Brio dances. The rats are leaving the sinking ship. Princess Jasmine? Tell us where the treasure is, and we'll let you go. Sight. Looks like we'd have to ring it out of him. Embryo, get changed. I said this while I was playing it. I think Nitro Kart got the, like, aesthetic for modern Crash down just right. Or at least the characterization for Crash. That was when Crash was most likable, was in Nitro Kart cutscenes. That was when he felt like an actual, like, hero character. And not just someone who happened to be there when shit went down. Which he kind of just is in every other scenario. Crash is just here and only getting involved because his, like, it's, it's personal. His home's getting attacked or, or he gets dragged into something. Imagine we get Spiral Mouth music in uh, Smash Brothers if Crash gets added. He doesn't use any magic or anything. He just whacks his stick. That's the that's the entropy section of the fight. The island breaks up, and he whacks it with his weapon like he's a goddamn barbarian. Time powers too OP. I mean, he has a barrier. That's magic. Apparently, there's a anime series now. Probably a little bit older. Called uh, something along the lines of "I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense stats," or whatever that is in Japanese. A lot of anime with absurdly long titles. I guess that's just a thing now. Okay, are we almost... Are we done? Do we go back up and that's the end of this? 
There are no corpses to touch and kill me. So that goes back to the previous island. Basically done with World 2. So I go into the... I go into this, do the cutscene, and then it'll plot me in World 3 and save my game. Just before we fight Dr. Wowie. I realize every time I make a World 3 joke, two people are gonna get it. No more. Mask HD on the Switch. They they take the basis of Majora 3D. They upscale everything. They remove the shitty parts. Oh, okay. Coco's here. Good lip syncing. Balls kick joke, and Coco's dead. Thanks to Perky here. Must be repaired. Yeah, I'd say they're pretty perky. My niece, Nina Cortex. Isn't she delightful? Obviously, I've made a few modifications here and there. <laughs> Quickly, to my private dirigible. Set a dirigible. course for Madame Amberley's Academy of Evil. Oh, Coco can kill you. At this point, I thought you meant like frozen in ice. Wow, they start you right next to Coco, too. <laughs> Careful. We're good. Spyro Orange Crash Purple came out before this and introduced Nina first. I own one of those games. I think I have Crash Purple. And it was hot garbage. That was a pit. And all the Spyro characters look like they're on crack cocaine. It's still not quite as, like, uh, out of whack as the Cream the Rabbit introduction. Between Sonic Advance, Sonic Heroes, and uh, Sonic X. Uh, where am I going? I'm here. Is something supposed to be here? That oh, I just had to walk a slightly forward. really tell the difference between the rendered ones with the lighting. Oh. Uh, are we fighting now? Is that Uka? I didn't see. And I'm dead. Even these loading screens look like concept art. Oh, that was a game over, wasn't it? Well, you know what? That's fine. We're at the point where I'm just- I'm gonna walk off to the, the dirigible and go on to chapter 3 next time. So I'm just I'm just going to do that. Forty four percent. Which is less than that considering that I got a bunch of gems. Is that the right place? Yep. Cone Quentin Flynn is in the right place again. All right. 2 hours 45 minutes. I went quite a bit longer than I intended to. 
That's okay, though. Thank you guys for hanging out. It was fun talking to you guys. And uh, I'll see you probably tomorrow for something. I was thinking about maybe doing uh, Smash with the open lobby or something. We'll see. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.